Oh, and it works. It's also <laughs> a box of Ethernet Recording. cables, and there's a box of, I think, power cables and a keyboard. I there's am... a motherboard up there, too. I said oh, there's actually a recording behind me. Since it's oh, there's actually an in meeting recording. I thought it meant locally, because I was going to record locally. But that works. Oh, stopper. Fair warning, we have a stop recording option. Yeah. yeah, so it warns everyone in the meeting that it's going to be recorded when you join. So, and I'm recording it, so I'll does anybody uh, have a, deal with it. Does anyone have a problem being recorded for all of eternity? Yes. Ooh. No? Fantastic. Hello, and welcome to the April 21st member meeting of Famalab, virtual due to COVID-19. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna it's gonna be a very brief meeting because nothing's really happening because the entire world is shut down. <laughs> Yay! Some of us are working Dan? like it's business as usual. Oh <laughs> same. Yeah. I need okay. a job except reduced hours. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for the financial update. Um, I don't know what donations are there. I haven't looked in the box. There probably shouldn't be many because nobody should have been in there to shove donations in the box. But at some point in the future, we'll uh, find out. Uh, meanwhile, we got $4.06 from PayPal giving. So we are not without donations. <laughs> um, class income has been nothing for obvious reasons. Uh, we had we lost one member, uh, leaving us with 127. Um, on the good side is you know we are now paying the new lease amount. The base base amount is 3,013 a month. We actually get a little bit of a discount on top of that for a couple things, but uh, that is much better. Uh, well, I said current is 4,096. That was back when we were. That is it's not current. You can see old is 4,096. Um, so that's that's really good. That's helpful, um, and we're. I don't think we actually have the actual official lease signed, but Dave Woods is easy going about that, so it's not really been an issue right now. Um, so, uh, you know, the obviously, you know, it's a little bit of a tense time with uh, wondering what's going to happen with membership and if people are going to be able to. Uh, keep you know paying their dues and all of that. So we're you know we were hoping to be a little bit more relaxed about money at this point with the new lower lease. Um, you know, so right now we're kind of using that to like uh, be a little bit of a buffer against potential financial loss due to um, the uh, stuff that's going on right now. Uh, but we're still we're you know we're in okay shape as it is right now. Um, and we just have to take it in, uh, a day at a time and see what what happens. Has the has the fact that we're not um, like open to the membership helped at all? Offset some like electricity costs and things? Oh, or? totally. The um, the the electricity bill. Well, actually, the last electricity bill we got was pretty low, but I don't think that one was really affected much by the shutdown yet. Um, I've got. To, I think this upcoming one is going to be extremely low. We also, um, you know, we did a couple things like we discontinued the uh, the collection of from the uh, the garbage collection at the dumpster, which saved like um, one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Uh, you know, hopefully it'll just be for the one month, but still, uh, you know, that that's something there. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, when we get the next, uh, when we get the next electrical bill, which should be, uh, not too long from now, but between it within the next week, uh, you know, we probably should see a pretty big difference on that. Cool. So, uh, that's about it. Unless anybody has any, uh, questions or concerns or anything. Okay. Nope. Thank you, Dan. Sure. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Dan. You look Thank you. Um, so, and on the topic of the electric bill, currently the only thing happening at Lab is a very small, like one person at a time, 
using the laser to assist with the PPE emergence, um, just helping make PPE for uh, all the first responders in the central Florida. And I'd like to give, we would like to give a thank you to the Maker Effect Foundation for kind of taking point on coordinating that. And then also Katie for coordinating our effort. She's done a lot. She's kind of rounded and herded all the cats. And thank you to everyone who is involved with that. Uh, I yeah, know absolutely. Craig is, Katie, I know Chris is. I want round cats. Katie's you guys done a great awesome. job at uh, getting, <laughs> getting people in there and doing stuff and coordinating it all. Is that Katie on the um, island? 716 number. Is that no, you, that's Katie? me, Jamie. Oh, okay. It's a Jamie. Oh, hi. It's a Jamie. Yeah. Okay. Um, and as the situation with COVID-19 and shutdown, stay-at-home orders, et cetera, continue to progress, we're going to be listening to the medical experts. Um, we, we're fortunate to have Chris on the board and as a member who is amazingly brilliant with these kinds of things who can kind of give, give us a more detailed idea. But we're listening to medical experts about when it's safe to reopen because the last thing we want to do is, is open too soon and be an epicenter as we're usually in very close proximity with each other. Chris, why haven't you fixed it yet? <laughs> <laughs> Chris isn't here. Oh, well, I can't see that. I'm on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Chris isn't here. Let me tell you, the people who are here, uh, I'm not going to go down the list. <laughs> well, well, there's only eight of us. More so. than you might expect. Right. I'm sure nine. I, mean, I could enough. probably take a good stab at, at who's on, given the low number and who the regulars are. Right. Yeah. But that's why we're recording to put on YouTube for anyone who wants to catch up. Yep. Uh, upcoming events, we do, we're not having any in-person events, obviously. Uh, we do have virtual events, such as the board meeting on May 12th from 8 to 10 p.m. Probably won't be that long. Next member meeting from on May 19th from 8 to 9 p.m. Right now, it's virtual, pending any changes. And then Blackheart has been doing an intro to Blender 3D workshop via Hi. WebEx. And, that, I and um, last week, and I just added it for this week, I've been doing Fusion as well. Basically, whatever software art stuff I know that anybody wants to learn, I'm just doing them. Basically, Saturday afternoons, classes around 1 to 5 p.m.-ish. And Thank you. While the events yep. are canceled, while the events are canceled, some some folks have been meeting up on Discord to voice chat, play games, and do all that kind of stuff. And I believe uh, Kyle is kind of the maestro of Discord. Uh, I'm not the owner, but I work with it. He's the proponent. Uh, yeah, we're trying to get people onto Discord so that we can do gaming and bullshitting, and it's easy yeah. to quickly randomly stream uh, yeah. stuff on Discord, you know. Yeah, and I'll pop a link to that in general. And it's also pinned in Gaming uh, Chan. It's also pinned in J yeah, Gaming Chan. Words are hard. Um, and then... Another event that was just created literally five minutes ago is Intro to Fusion 360 on April 25th, which is this Saturday. Yep. <clears throat> Basically, check the calendar in the middle of the week. I've probably got a class for I'm doing them every Saturday afternoon. That's awesome. Whatever I can think of or what people want. So. That's awesome. Thank you. That yeah. hurts plus plus. <laughs> So <clears throat> this is where we usually go into testimonials, awesome box, and new members. Hasn't like I would been say, that this awesome month. Box, because... I'll say all the people who have been doing making for PPE. There's yeah. my awesome box intro. Hey, I think it's awesome actually box. kind of it, it's pretty awesome. That, uh... Oh my god! What the... <laughs> <laughs> 
had <laughs> two from vagina. Yes, to do that. That's pretty fine. Uh, you know, I think it's pretty awesome just that like, I just got OBS you know, <laughs> that Family Lab is actually around and just able to do that just as an organization. It's uh it's you know, it's really it's cool. It makes me happy. It makes me really you know, feel good about Family Lab. In my view, it's it's how we justify our nonprofit status. One hundred percent. So, giving back community after, at large. After this, yep. we should probably total up how many bits of PPE our members made and then put something, a blog post on our website. And I'm re being really careful to not say that one word that would trigger the bot. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool if we had some kind of weekly counter or something. That would. That's an tool. Well, we can get, we can get the number for that. Yeah, I th I'm trying to find it real quick, what it is currently. Um, is, that, is it 1,400 from Famalab, Dan, do you know? That that would sound about correct because I, I know a while back it was at 800, and I believe Katie did 360 the other day. <laughs> yeah, she did. Oh, wow. Is that just the new the new shields or is that the old ones too? The all laser cut ones too. Uh, I'm sure. Well, I think that 1400 like, number is all of them. Okay. Well, I've also made another uh, about almost a thousand shields plus another like 600 bands. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's 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 a lot. That's great. <laughs> so yeah, we really should brag about this just a little bit once we're done to show that yes, we do give back to the community. Sometimes yes. literally. Well, the all laser cut one was one that I designed myself. So yeah. So I did make one uh, Facebook post, but we should probably do another one. So Dave, we should yeah. do one on you and making that. That'd be fun. And Twitter, don't forget about all the other social medias. I don't do social stuff. What's a Twitter? Pictures, pictures, send, pictures. Send pictures, photos pictures, and videos stuff. and stuff to me, and I can I can schedule things. I, I'm slightly de facto social at the moment, I think. Is anyone at lab really social? <laughs> yeah. Anti-social. That's why we're all on Reddit. <laughs> Does anybody else? I think it might be old, 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 old. Does anybody else have right. any topics for discussion or concerns nope. before we adjourn? Did we have a virtual WAN slash LAN party thing for this month or no? Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't remember what the date was for it because everything was kind of canceled. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, I think it was week. next week. What's this week? Um, canceled, 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 canceled. Everything shows canceled because it's supposed to. Everything is canceled. <laughs> everything is canceled because um, COVID-19. Yeah, I, I don't remember which week it was. I think it was actually maybe next month. Yeah, it was next month. But I mean, it, that's why we have Discord. We can just you know do whatever whenever. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Apparently, there's a Famabot account on Reddit. Well, the last post on the sub is apparently three years ago. So. Yeah, there's 28 <laughs> readers. We don't use the 29. subreddit no, just, too much, but uh, no. we might want to post to like our Orlando or stuff like that. Absolutely. And um, yeah. the Maker Great. Effect Foundation has been posting stuff, Maker Effects uh, particularly. Yep. And there's Facebook group and, and this, that, and the everything. There's a lot going on. 
I, I just noticed like the serial killer robot ruckus um, bit, uh, apron behind you. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Why is that? <laughs> it's actually one of the screen printing aprons. Um, partway through Saturday at Maker Fair, one of the, uh, the guy running screen printing, I can't remember his name right now. What's that, Andy? I don't remember. But he had somebody from screen printing run over because he knew I would love it because it it's, looks like it's covered in blood. Nice. And I do <laughs> love it. And I had him do a, a lower one so I could fold over and wear it all day Sunday because you can't see the big robot ruckus if you fold it over. Oh, uh, yeah. Unless I'm in a kitchen, I refuse to wear an apron all the way up around my neck. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to adjourn the official meeting. Time is 8.20 p.m. Thank you all for coming and visiting virtually. We can leave the, meet, leave the uh, Google Meet open if anyone wants to continue hanging out. But we're going to stop the recording and officially adjourn the meeting.